Hold up. Good evening. How's it going? Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. I don't know why speaking is so hard right when I go live. It's very annoying. Not feeling great tonight. So we're just gonna go for as long as I feel like. Body kind of hurts, I'm just kind of tired. My shirt is nice. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's do it's doing this awful thing where the where the graphic is like curling in on itself. So I think it's just a cheap, just kind of a shitty cheap shirt. But it looks fun. Hot Topic quality? Yeah, probably. Either that or Sailor Moon just makes trash. Probably super loud. How's it going, Kitty? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Let's just spend the next half hour signing into this shit. I have a guide right here. On my phone, you can't see. There it is. It does say stuff on it. I couldn't find my tablet. I wanted to use my tablet for like a third screen, but is it from Target? Because I just got a Sailor Moon sweatshirt and it's doing the same thing. I don't know. I know that I have gotten a Sailor Moon shirt from Target that did this same thing, so maybe. But I think maybe I got rid of that one and I just have this one now, but this one also is bad. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember stuff like that. Burn it to the ground, Target? Really? I kind of—I I don't know. I kind of like Target. They're like just as shitty as Walmart, but more expensive, so you feel fancier when you shop there. All my mom friends are like, let's go to Target. Let's go to Target. All right, so off stream, I leveled up to 19, equipped us with this here iron sword. I think I turned the music off, but I don't know if there's actually music in here or not. How do I get back to that? Gameplay, music volume, here we go. Yeah, so I'm in the in the cave that we were in before, where I got fucked up by those scorpions. And I didn't know this, but apparently these books will teleport you will teleport you in here. Teleportation assistant. Touches on such topics as teleportation and battle records. The meticulously illuminated text within explains that adventurers may travel to the location of any previous books visited after paying a sum of gill or the requisite amount of tabs. 
so all that running around that we've been doing, we didn't have to actually, we didn't have to do that. That's nice that they tell you, yeah. I mean... I guess I could have read a little bit closer. Because I think I've talked to the books before. So it might be my fault. But if you want to blame the game, I'm happy to do that also. Alright, so now... Now we should be strong enough to fight our way through this cave and go get those rocks or whatever we were whatever we were after. I mean, it's not exactly sure running up to a floating book doesn't sound like a smart idea in most fantasy settings. I guess so. When you think of teleportation, you don't think of like a book, a floating book, right? Like in 14, they have the crystals that you can teleport to. Or maybe you picture like some kind of some kind of gateway, something like that, right? Reading Rainbow. It also doesn't help that like reading stuff in this game is really hard because absolutely everything that happens in the game ends up down here in the little dialogue box. So that includes like battle updates, what everybody's doing in combat, plus all of ch all of chat shows up down there, plus all of NPC dialogue shows up in there. Imagination is what they were going for. No, Gabo, leave me alone. Hit you with my sword. Oh, I have a move called Red Lotus Blade. Deals fire elemental damage, damage varies with TP, skill chain attributes. Oh, okay. Oh, hell yeah. That looked awesome. I have no idea if it's any better than what we've been using, but it looked really cool. Take so much of your TP, yeah. Yeah, it takes all of it. And the TP gauge goes up to 3,000, so the longer you hang on to it, the more damage it does, I guess, but... I always just spend it right away. Which, I don't know if that's smart or not. I'm just like, I don't have time. I need things dead right now. There's the scorpions that killed us. Should we try fighting a scorpion right now? Seeing if we can handle one? No, let's... Maybe we can pull this off without pissing off every scorpion in the game. We'll just walk past them and they won't even notice us. Attack, please. Thank you. Oh, 
So here's another book. What does this do for us? A grounds tome. Um, field operations. Review current training regime. Target hover total. Cancel current training regime. Okay. So can we do something that's in here? Read about individual training, page one. Three members of the goblin family and two stink bats. 15 to 18, Maze of Shakrami. Okay, let's do that. Start training regime to automatic, set training regime to automatically repeat upon completion. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what that does for me, but we're doing that now. All we gotta do is kill some stink bats and some gobbos. You guys just keep doing what you're doing over there. Oh, I went the wrong way. You're supposed to turn right. You're supposed to turn right! Oh no, where are we now? A Toa Chasm? Okay, this isn't where, this is not where we want to be. We're leaving. Natalie, only 18 minutes late. Yeah, well... You're distracted by playing, you know, an inferior Final Fantasy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I need my friends. I will die without my friends. You're doing glamours now that you're a bunny? A bunoy? Why do you say bunoy? I've never understood. See, and we're safe. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is zone, and then nobody will bother you anymore. Because Jackie says Benoit. We gotta go over here. We made these guys mad, that's... Not great. Hello, Nixlet. How's it going? We're killing gobbos. getting killed by gobos. Is there a third one on me? Yes. Awesome. Love that. Oh, and a fourth one spawns in. Well. Okay, we're gonna... Time to kick off our mighty strikes. And we're dead. Cool. So, Mighty Strikes will uh, reset in one hour, real time. And then, uh, and then we'll be good. You know what? I wanted to go back to town anyway. I wanted to do this. That was calculated. You didn't know, but 
you know, I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I need to drop it off, and uh, and, and now that's why we're here. You ever think this game isn't, like, good? No. That has not occurred to me even one time. Because now, now, I, now that I know the books can teleport me back in there, it's not the huge loss that it's been, like, six streams now. So now we're just gonna give my Moogle a bunch of my crap. Don't need crystals on me, don't need none of that. Hair meat, dolmal meat, meat jerky, bird egg. I think I can eat all of that stuff. Bird feather, Yagudo feather, some motto, snutter motto. Yeah. Let me, let me out. Okay. So now we're going to go see, we need to find us a floating book. And the floating book, well, the flo flo floating book, I have pants now, yes. I did find a pair of pants. So now I wear pants. It's part of the bone set, I think. Travel to, can a crystal take me out there, maybe? Current region, waters. Yes. Also, the books were really. When I when I found out the books can teleport you, it was really condescending about it. It was like common sense tells you that books similar of this kind would be able to tell you teleport between each other, and I'm like. The fuck does that mean? Fucking obscure ass game insulting my intelligence. Um Okay, I don't need any of these people. I think there's books just outside the door. Where is the book? There it is. Alright, let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be just a little bit upset. Okay, this one's just about training regime. I don't care about training regime. Is there another book? No. What is this thing? What about here? Tell me there's a book in here. There's not. Well, there's a way. How do I teleport to? Okay, we can teleport to the little, uh, the little. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to punch you. We can teleport to the fucking thing that's that's to the north on the map. You know what I'm talking about? The little outpost thing that's up there, and they have books there, so I can teleport there. Use the book there to teleport into the Shakrami maze, and then from there. We continue. What's with the dog face?
I don't I don't know. I don't know what you mean when when you make that face at me. All right, so now we just got to figure out how to teleport to the no, not that. No, I don't want that. I'm actually debating on if my Benoi should have pants or not. Basically debating on just panties or panties with fishnets. You could make a fully clothed character. Not every one of your characters have, has to be a fucking whore. A whore. I'm gonna waste so much time trying to figure out how to teleport out there that, like... Like, I could've ran halfway there by now. Okay, so I think Kayil Payil. No. Well, what the fuck? I could have sworn that... Okay, so let's use the teleporter to teleport to the person that teleports us to the outpost that teleports us to the book. No, not, not walls. Fuck! Okay, if you hit escape, you just leave the entire fucking thing. Okay. Travel. Current region. Port Windurst. Okay, not that one. Windurst Woods. Windurst Woods. Over here. Okay, over here. Teleport there. But being a horror is so much more fun. <laughs> but don't you think it has its limits? Do you ever feel like you want to slow down the horror train? Just pump the brakes a little bit. Doesn't the sucking and fucking get a little old? Uh, solo. I don't think any of these people. All right. Well, there's there's books on the outside of here, so we go out here, take the book to the book. There are no brakes on the horn train. <laughs> that sounds like slut shaming to me. I like shaming sluts. When they like it. So, uh, this is the field manual. Okay. So, where. Goblin footprint? Uh, I don't. I don't- you know what? We're just running. We're just gonna run there. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know what I'm doing. I admit it. I'm sorry. I thought I had a good idea. I was wrong. Wait, I, but I, hold on. I got another crystal. <laughs> There's another crystal that's out in Tarongi Canyon that I attuned to, and common sense would dictate that I can take a crystal from inside the town out to the one in Tarangi Canyon. Because they were the same kind of crystal. At what point are you going to consider this game complete after main story or all dungeons? After main story. Is there a main story? Yes, in a sense. Um, basically, if we go in all the missions, so here's a list of all the places that have missions. And once we do all the missions, that's essentially all of the game's story elements, main story elements complete. Everything else ends up under quests. So, we go through the main game's story and the 12 or so expansions. And we do all the missions, and once we do all the missions, the game is complete. 
Travel to another home point. Uh, next page. Current region. Alright, so maybe I can't. Windurst. Yeah, it doesn't give me an option to go anywhere else. Other settings. Select by region. Yeah, there's current region, Windurst, and that's all. Well, what the fuck is that one out in Tarangi Canyon, then? Okay, for not looking... For not looking like a whore, should I go with the cool tech armor with the visor, the dragoon armor? I don't know. Tech with visor, that sounds cool. All right, fine, we're walking. I don't understand how teleporting between points in this game works, so we're just gonna walk. But I'll, we're gonna go back to that crystal in Tarongi Canyon. Walk, tomato, walk! We're gonna go back to the crystal in Tarongi Canyon because I remember it gave me the option to set it as my home point. And I'm like, no, that seems like a terrible idea. Unless I die out here, which we did. Um, but it seems like a terrible idea because... There's nothing there. Look at this speed. Fast as fuck, boy. Legend of Dragoon? Legend of Dragoon was not square. I don't remember... I kinda wanna say it was like Triace or somebody, but I don't think that's right. Oh god. Yo, the camera in this game just fucking goes goes wild on ya. Why is there a giant fucking thing here? Maybe I should be looking into like getting a Chocobo license. So that I don't gotta walk everywhere. It was a good game though. They should remake that one since you know they remake movies and bad g and games now. It wasn't a very good game. Or at the very least, it, the translation was pretty bad. I remember the one line. Oh, <laughs> there's a line in it that's just like, you make good wife someday. <laughs> But I think it was fun to play. I liked it as a team, but I watched a Let's Play of it, and it's aged, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to remember it was pretty straightforward turn-based combat, which was getting stale even at the time that it came out, so... Don't do this to me, you already destroyed my love of Final Fantasy X. What did I do? I didn't do anything! I did nothing but shine a light upon Final Fantasy X's more uniquely bad qualities. If 
You took my memories. I did no such thing. All right. Here's what I'll say about Legend of Dragoon, though, is, is the character designs fucking banged. When you when you were in the blockbuster and you saw that that uh, and you saw the game sitting there on the shelf and everybody is in their cool ass dragon armor and you're like oh hell yeah this game's gonna be awesome and then you see the the full motion cutscenes and you're like oh sweet this is so cool but then you play the game and you're like. Maybe I want to play Zelda, <laughs> you know? All those old games I played with Doe-Eyed Wonder, but looking back... I'm going to leave them there. Yeah. Yeah, probably best to just kind of, you know... I do wish they would bring back Wild Arms. I fucking loved Wild Arms. I still love Legend of Dragoon. I even fell asleep to the soundtrack last night. I seem to remember the the music being good in Legend of Dragoon. Fucking Wild Arms had the best fucking here. We're gonna. We're gonna get a copyright strike real quick, but... But the opening cinematic to Wild Arms... <laughs> that whistle sounds pretty bad. I don't know why the video's this fucking grainy. I don't think he looked this bad before. So fucking awesome. Paul Arms is like old school 24p or something. Yeah, the game the game was ugly as shit even back then. But it was a lot of fun to play. And when you when you put the disc in and you turned that on and the thing started up, you watched the intro every single fucking time. like Tales of Destiny. Tales 1 and 2 were amazing. But most of the Tales series since then has been bad. Yeah, well, try and tell Norm that. <laughs> he will not accept it. Tales of Destiny was fucking amazing. I loved that game. But he let me borrow, like, Tales of Vesperia or, or one of the later ones, something like that. And, like... I'm like, bro, this game's not that good. And he's like, you didn't give it a chance. And I'm like, I played it for 15 hours. How much bigger of a chance do you want me to give it? We have to say hi to our boy. I don't know. That's, that's like a thing that Norm and I do on a pretty regular basis, is we shit on things that the other person likes, and then we get mad about it.
Lunar Silver Star story? Yes. Lunar was fucking dope. I think Nixle it was playing was streaming Lunar not too far back, right? I just straight ported it to the Switch without a graphics upgrade and I'm pissed. Yeah, that game could really go for could really use a remake. I don't remember who made that originally though. It was like all RPGs back then were made by Squaresoft, Enix, or Tri-Ace. <laughs> Legacy of Kane? Yeah. I would love to see Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver come back. I want Tenchu to come back also, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Alright. Let's get our people. Yeah, she's... Carry a torch off running. Ha ha, very funny. I, you're making fun of me because I don't understand how to teleport and we have to walk everywhere. I get it, very hilarious. Many lull. Alright, well, I'm gonna show you this fucking crystal, and you can tell me whether or not it makes sense in your brain, upon seeing it, that that crystal is connected to the other crystals that also teleport me around places, okay? And then, you, as a whole, as an entire chat, as a group, can suck me the hell off. Can fucking suck me dry, okay? Because this is not my fault. Get the fuck out of my way, you fucking bony ass, giraffe looking ass, lizard ass. Yeah, they're super ugly. wouldn't drink milk from a doll mel? It's a delicacy. Somebody paid me $600 because I helped them do it. It was fucked up and weird. Look! Look at it! Alright. This looks like a teleport crystal that's in the city. The the ones that we we know what they do, right? And we talk to it, we look at it. It's called a telepoint. I already possess the gate crystal for this telepoint. What does that mean? So am I supposed to do something with the gate crystal? It's probably something like that. Probably gotta like <clears throat> Give the gate crystal to somebody, and then something happens, and then... Alright, let's see if this book teleports me anywhere. This Wild Arms song is a banger. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. It's so good. Okay, that one doesn't do any teleporting. Fuck. Pukat here will give me a chocobo, except for I don't have a chocobo's license. You wish to ride a chocobo, you must 
possess a chocobo license and have a high enough job level. Is it like attuned to something and it's like in a bracelet? I don't know. I'm sure it's something like I gotta give it to somebody and then somebody does something with it and it takes an hour of my time. These guys are fun. Yeah, the wiki says. The wiki says what? That I'm supposed to do something with the crystal? It's mostly gear, and then if you are a white mage level 36, I don't know what you're talking about. To me, your treasure creature, tomato. Oh, what does it do? Let's drink it. Should probably eat some food too. It was in him, bum. There are rings, caps, earrings that let you teleport to different places. White may just get a spell at 36. Uh... Well, that's annoying. Should have been a white mage. I would still only be a level 19 white mage. Should have gone with your gut. It, there wasn't in my gut. My gut was telling me to go with Warrior so that uh, we could, like, you know, more easily, like, solo our way through stuff. I was going to be some be somebody tanky, you know? Plus, if you're a white mage, you got to deal with the hell world that is, like, targeting other players in this game. I remember it being difficult. I don't I don't actually know if it still is. What location are you? The Shakrami Maze is where where we were trying to get back to, which I am now in. Maze of Shakra Shakrami. All right, so now we're fine as long as I don't die again. And here's, here's this fucking book. And it talks about teleportation assistance. Uh, explains adventurers may travel to the location of any previous books visited after paying a sum of gill or the requisite amount of tabs. To or who, to whom or where? Saruta Baruta. Okay, so only the survival guides. I can teleport between survival guides. And look, uh, yeah, it's at the outpost, like I said. Like I said an hour ago. That first plan I came up with that we didn't do. Cool. 
it's not like you'll see other people, uh, only occasionally. I mean, I see other people in the cities, but, like, out here running around? No. I probably should have looked up the most populous server, but... Um... Somebody in Panda recommended Bahamut, so that's what I went with. I found a face guard on him. Face guard. Level 10, defense 5. It's trash, we're dropping it. Pardon me, Gobbo. Have you heard of death? You know, the FF11 subreddit seems pretty active. Yeah, but then... I need to learn how to mod for you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, fuck. I got turned around. God damn it. Then I'd have to learn. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't usually have much of a problem. When people, you know, situations that need to be modded are usually like one or two people that show up in here. So, it's not that big of a deal. If anything, I'm impressed that, like... Goatsy left such a... Such an impression on the internet that... In the year of our Lord, 2023, people are still... People are still going around posting ASCII art of it. Like, that shit's... I figured for sure that shit would be lost to time.
I'm not sure impressed is the right word. I'm impressed! <laughs> But yeah, un unfortunately, the LGBTQ tag kind of kind of makes me a natural target for stuff like that. The account was made 14 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw that too. There was one Sunday night that that had been made six minutes ago when I got to it. And it was exactly like that, so I don't even think it's a person. I think it's just bot. Came in here and posted some masky thing that I didn't recognize. With the same weird message on it. Not doing bad. Last time we got a scorp the the other scorpion, when we got him this low, uh, we died. So I think we're doing okay. I don't know why he's so fast. Nobody can hit him. The thirst for VTubers is terrifying, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Queer streamers are a good target. VTubers. Women. Basically, the only way to not get trolls on on Twitch is to be like a middle-aged white dude playing Call of Duty. Don't get the VTuber thing. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's like, you know, it's just fantasy, right? Some of us are fat and want to be pretty anime girls. <laughs> I mean, that's... I mean... It's easier to develop a parasocial relationship with somebody that you don't perceive as a person and in my opinion having a vtube avatar makes it easier for people to do that and it's easier to be someone else yeah and and from the streamer side you're right some of us don't want to be on camera and find it easier to, like, don the personality of a streamer if we're doing a character rather than just being ourselves. I, I get it. I've, I've definitely thought about, you know, thought about doing it also. But... Back when I was, like, trying to figure out what my channel was going to be and what I wanted to do with it. But... Ultimately, I decided that, you know, I think I would rather have people... ...get to know me in a more authentic capacity.
Hell yeah, Goblin Tinker takes 300 points of damage. Yeah, Matsui has this crazy move now that, like, I think what he does is he just saves up his entire TP gauge and blows it all at once and just one-shots anything in front of him. If I ever stream, I have an idea. And yeah, you'd be a VTuber mainly because you're a mom. Yeah. Dirty, dirty, nasty, gross smut tentacles lover. There's that too, yes. Yes, it's important for you to conceal your identity. And I guess that's the other advantage too, is like... People don't know what you look like, they can't really pick you out. Makes it harder to, you know, stalk you and stuff like that. Yeah. I decided I wanted to do a VTuber avatar if I ever started streaming on Chatterbait. And I think I've talked about this before, but Chatterbait lets you stream, like, dirty games. And I thought it would be fun to, to do that. So like all the smut food that's in my Steam library, I could actually take it and play it on Chatterbait. The hell was that? Thankful that the percentage of people giving me KYS messages are far outweighed by the people that are just horny for me. Yeah. Yeah, being a sex worker is fun like that, isn't it? Strikes isn't ready. Fuck. Paralyzed. that could help me right now? No? Nothing? Cool. No potions, nothing. I think we die again. Unless I get real lucky real fast. Kill him! Oh my god. I was so fucking lucky.
Also, this bug looking ass, bug ass looking ass is a very hard mini boss in one of my favorite dungeons in 14. Uh, 14 does take ideas and stuff from from 11. So, could be. Okay. So now that that trauma is over, being a sex worker is actually pretty great. I love the creative aspect of it. I love being my own boss, but it's also very, very, very hard. Yes. It's just a rock. There's no need to investigate it. Please don't attack me, scorpion man. Please leave me be, scorpion man. Alright, we got the lapis coral. That's all that's all we were here for. One stream and one hour later. And now we gotta run all the way back to Windurst. Why didn't I search that rock first, Five Head? I, it's random. You don't know which rock it's gonna be. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. I think I just fucked up my makeup. This is a great game. <laughs> I legit have fun with it. I like it. I like this game. Oh god. Please. I kind of hope they kill me because... You know what that is? That's a free ass teleport. I keep... Unless, you know... I am a little scared that at some point we're gonna eventually reach the point in the game where dying costs you experience and potentially levels. I don't know if that's a thing that happens anymore, but... Fucking... <laughs> well, I'm afraid that it will be. No, Scorpion. <sighs> okay. All we gotta do is haul ass out of here. Haul ass back to Windurst. You? Oh, Skellyman. Oh, target him, please. Thank you. Why is he so hard to hit? Is it because he's just bones?
Ugh. As long as he doesn't hit me with that curse move. The one that makes me run slow. Why is he so strong? out of mana so that's not great and this guy still wants to fight Keep running. I run for that zone. We'll get the heck out of here. We can take the book to the outpost. And then from there, we can run to Winders. So we don't gotta run all the way. So the white book, no. The blue book is the one that lets us teleport. You're in our post. Oh my god, it cost me a thousand dollars to do that? fine it's just money I can make more money Ugh. Ugh. hello you old potat I All right, I'm gonna take a little break, stretch my legs. I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Holy fuck, my bones. I probably could have made myself auto run that entire time. I'm going to kiss all my chatters. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed that you missed my stream with the collar. I'm sure I'll do it again. It just looked right. It's not like I, you know. It's not like I put it on whenever I'm told. Baka. Need to get me a proper one. So we need to go back to... Where is she? She's in waters? Oh cool, I lost it. Maybe with pink rhinestones? color pink background with black strap in front pink rhinestones on the black strap that sounds pretty cute I suppose I could be convinced to wear something like that she I think she's north of the doll mill farm that sounds right Also missing the crystal that's over by the residential over here, so might as well go grab that real quick. 
I think I'm gonna end here soon. My back hurts. some more Tylenol. I took some Tylenol before I started streaming, but it doesn't really... Isn't really helping. Might have to find some ibuprofen, I think. All the progress I made. <coughs> I did like one thing. Like returning to her is not even the end of the quest. Was I just totally in the wrong place? You're gonna be doing this game for years? Yeah, I know. I mean, I was already kind of ready for that, but... I didn't think it would take quite this long to do just even minor things. How long does a normal FF game take? 30 or 40 hours? Yeah, 12, 12 13, and 15 are gonna be super short compared to 11 and 14. And 16 for that matter. Yeah, most Final Fantasy games, I want to say, don't take more than like 20 streams or so. Because I mean like, okay, so this is stream number 129, and we've played... We started this on 125, so 125 divided by 10, because we played 10 mainline games. There you go. Whatever that number is. What the fuck? What's this little guy doing on a box? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Play? Play what? Is there a mini game in this? It's not unusual you want to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual you want to have fun with anyone. But when I see you hanging about with anyone, it's not unusual to see me cry. I wanna die. Thank you for Bird. So, I don't know what this is. Move Mandragora from which area? And I can choose. Areas one through five. But it looks like there's eight areas. Look at that cat! Oh, he's so cute! Little baby coral. Look a fucking minigame, hooray! 
What is it? I don't know. Let's move. What are we doing? Is this like Mancala? It is like Mancala. Why are the Mandragoras different colors, though? I, I don't understand. You don't like the Mandragora noise? Okay, so two there, zero there, five. Okay, so I think it's like Mancala, except for I'm green. So the areas are one, two, three, four, and five. And the Moogle is red, so his areas are one, two, three, four, five. Does the type of Mandragora have something to do with something? I don't know. Um, let's just go area three. Area four. I don't know the rules, but you're losing. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you suck. No, I, I can do this. Area five, seven Mandragoran. Alright, check this out. Let's see if this works. Because in Mancala, if I move this one right here, and it's only one, it captures everything on the other side. So let's do that. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> Maybe I am losing. All right, but the Mancala rule of dropping one into your into your home grants you another turn. So that's something. Okay, yeah, he's he just took four turns in a row. What a cock. Alright, I guess I just moved the one. Oh god, he's so good. No cocks are amazing. He's a chod. What? What the fuck are you saying? Cocks are amazing. Okay, we're gonna move number two. Because he doesn't have access to that square. Okay, we're gonna move this one because he doesn't have access to that square. What happened? What? 
Why did I lose? Why did I why did I lose? You fucking you fucking you what mate? Let's do this again. You lost because you were like five little onion people behind? Yeah, but like, oh my god. <laughs> Look at my opponent. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> um. Yeah, I get that I was behind, but like, why did it end? Why did the game end? I wasn't done. Alright, so check this out. We go one, two, three. Now I get another turn. And with that turn, I go one, two, three. This again. One, two, three. And then we're gonna take. The, we're gonna take area two, maybe? Mole man, so got angry. Fuck, I'm losing! I need more Mandragorans! He's only two ahead of me. Three. He's so good! Why are mole people so good? Check this out, check this out. We got that. And I got another turn off of this. Okay. And then these. This looks like that one game that you played at summer camp. Yeah, it's like Mancala. I used to play Mancala with my mom all the time. these okay, and then we're gonna do this <laughs> and then we're gonna do this oh fuck fuck I don't think that was the play I think I fucked it I think I fucked it Okay, I can take this one. And then I'm gonna take that one. Um, and then this. I think I just fucked myself. Oh no, he made a he made a mistake. He made a mistake. Give me that. And give me this. Fuck. He tossed the pan at me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do one more time. I got a good feeling about this one now. I received 14 jingly. I wonder what I 
do with Jingly. Okay, I think I got him this time. I think he's fucked. I think he's fucked. I think he's fucked. So you come back from that. Fuck. Okay, give me that. Okay, and then this one. Yeah, yeah, and then this. Oh, my brain is large! Oh, I kind of misplayed there, just a little bit, just a teeny bit of a misplay. Okay, I gotta spread this shit out, unfortunately, but he's gonna have a hard time catching up to me now. But I think I might have them one way or the other. I think I smoked his ass early on, and so now he's kind of fucked. He's in deep trouble, dude. Yay! The coral kitten loves me! Fucking nailed it. Alright, so I have 43 Jingly. What does that do? Oh, read an explanation. I guess I could have learned. That's fine, now I know how to do it. Purchase prizes. This option is currently unavailable. You will be able to select it again in 26 Earth Days. What? Why? Yo, Mandragora. Fuck. Plant boy, onion boy looking ass motherfucker. Once a month thing, yeah, I guess. Yo, I'm good as fuck at Mancala. That game's got a little bit of a twist, but not much. Animal glue, scorpion. Hey, leather high boots? When did I get those? They're not great. Probably sell them. We should play the rock game with the coyote. Yeah, that was a fun little game. <laughs> yeah, a picture of Arkham Horror popped up on my Facebook today in the memories. 
because I was... It was three years ago, in the middle of lockdown. And I'm like, I'm just gonna play board games alone by myself. Which is something you can do with Arkham Horror. So I posted a picture of me, you know, having set up an entire game of Arkham Horror to play alone. In my basement. And the patchwork game? No. No, I'm never playing that piece of shit ever again. Fuck that. Alright, what were we doing? Hello? Game? Travel. Nanamigo is in Windurst Woods, J3. Just upset because I smoked you. I'm upset because it was bad and not good. Yeah, she's up here in Mithra Groves. Okay, so we want to go to, like, here. It was charming and very easy. Okay, but it didn't make any sense. The, the, the uh, obviously the game was about creating a quilt, but the way you win is just by acquiring crafting stuff. So, whichever spinster at the end of the game has more bullshit, more crafting bullshit, they win. Not when you actually make a quilt, but you win when you have crap. Just like everybody who gets into crafts. Buttons. You want to quilt pieces that give you the most buttons. It's a combination of both. Yeah, and that's that's my point. It shouldn't be shouldn't have anything to do with how many buttons. It's how many how many uh, how complete was your was your quilt before you died of boredom at the end of the game. Alright, she's not wanting to talk to me again. Okay. So, you came through with it? Here, I'll give you this key. We'll make the transaction at my hideout, deep in the Horototo ruins. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you there once I've finished up here. Hideout key. At the Horror Toto Ruins. Okay, so that's gonna be what we do next. Um, and I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I don't know if I need to lay down or what, but I feel very uncomfortable. <clears throat> so I'm gonna call it there. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Tomorrow, though, it would be cool to have as many people here as I can get for our first sponsored stream. For the twitch.tv slash southboundf uh, sellout arc begins tomorrow. And, uh,. I would kind of like for that to be successful. That's all. <laughs> so yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What if you get a sponsorship from someone who isn't Final Fantasy? Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, we're going to be... It's a sponsor... It's not Raid Shadow Legends. It's sponsored by... Uh, Final Fantasy War for EOS, which is a mobile game, but it is a sponsored stream from Square, so I took it. 
because it's Final Fantasy related. And if it's good, you know, then maybe we'll do more of that kind of stuff in the future. Maybe Raid Shadow Legends will come along at some point. I've resisted doing sponsored streams for a long time. If you do cross that bridge, you better play Dark Souls on stream. <sighs> when am I going to have time to play Dark Souls? Dark Souls is not Final Fantasy related. You know what I do want to do, though, is I, w I would like to play the uh, Final Fantasy Souls-like. What is that game called? I don't remember. I'll play with your promo for FF? Cool. I'm thinking we'll, uh, the, uh, the, spawn, the, the promos for two days, so I'm thinking we'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow for two or three hours, and then Saturday. I think the other stream has to be, like, at least an hour, so we might do, uh, might do another stream Saturday night. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. But yeah, so that's what we're doing tomorrow yeah but you'd have fun and Halloween you didn't play FF yeah because Halloween we play horror games we we take a little break from the quest and we play horror games Dark Souls doesn't really get in a horror game but no fucking raid Dark Souls is a horror game. Not every not every game that does psychic damage to you qualifies as a horror game. Just because, you know, just because it's Dark Souls is a an exercise in self-flagellation does not make it a horror game. It has zombies and dark stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Besides, I, I can't play Dark Souls right now anyway. You're playing Dark Souls, and my copy of Dark Souls is your copy of Dark Souls. You already used your sister's promo for Raid, and you hated it. Well. Yeah, you beat it, but you have to beat it like two more times. Play it for Halloween? Alright, we'll talk about it when... When Halloween gets closer. No, you 100 percent in it already? First stream that I watched was you playing Fallout Spooky. Really? You joined in October, huh? Anyway, I'm already looking forward to October again. I got I got a couple of new ideas. That was a fun stream. Yeah. It was a very impressive mod, but holy shit. It was... It was very finicky. Yeah, and, um... Streaming with, with Natalie was fun, too. Remember? We played Resident Evil 5. So hopefully we, hopefully we can do more stuff like that. But that, again, is in October. We're not talking about October. We're talking about tomorrow night. No, I'm fine. I'll just sit here and fidget and, like, kind of weirdly f flex my body around and, and while we talk. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> thanks for being here. Hope to see you tomorrow night. And, uh... Once we're done with the uh, with the sponsored stream stuff, next week on Wednesdays we'll start Final Fantasy X too. So you can look forward to that. And that's the outro. Goodbye.